Welcome back to Road to Fire. We're a family of three documenting our journey to fire, financial independence, retire early. Let's chat about our April debt-free journey update. I will share our remaining debt balance, our progress, and the payments we made this month with all real numbers like always, so please hang with me. Okay, unpopular opinion here, but we believe in paying off debt while investing. I know, I know many financial gurus disagree with this approach, but we find that doing both at the same time keeps us on track for early retirement. We miss out on market growth after the Great Recession and don't want to miss out on this type of growth again. There are many reasons why we decided to do both at the same time, but the main reason is simple, opportunity costs. We believe in more time in the market to get the true effects of compound interest, and if we waited to invest, we'll miss it on these potential gains. So each month, we balance our disposable income between paying off debt aggressively and investing aggressively. But most months, we have opted to focus on investing, but we are really pushing to get rid of our last consumer debt by the end of this year. My personal rule of thumb has always been to focus on debt with an interest rate above 4%, but since we only have one quote-unquote bad debt left, that's become our full focus. But we are really fortunate to only have two remaining debts, and I'll get into the details, but if you go back in time just four years, we would have credit card debt and student loans added to the mix as well. Right now, we have one car loan left with an interest rate of about 3.5% that is housed within Chase. And then we have a 2.5% interest rate on our current house hack duplex. Our current tenant is paying about 62% of our rent, which isn't bad. And because our rate is ridiculously low, we are focusing all of our efforts on our last car loan. And we don't plan to pay off our mortgage quickly as this is a part of our long-term rental portfolio that we are building. But in the future, when we rent out our current unit, we may start paying more to the principal to decrease our overall liabilities. So here's our March recap. We were again under our target of sending about $1,900 to debt each month. This target would keep us on track to getting rid of this debt completely by the end of this year. We've struggled to hit that number, but we will keep striving towards it. We sent three debt payments to our car loan in March. We were working with a higher income that month as we were not allowed to contribute to my husband's 401k yet due to him starting a new job. His first 401k contributions will be this week, so I expect his income to be lower, making it again a little bit harder to send money to debt. The total payments we sent in March was $1,750, which I was happy with. So my husband and I agreed earlier this year to send all side hustle income we make to debt. We are well behind our annual side hustle income goal, but every little bit helps. In March, we made $245.25 from YouTube, and that was all pre-tax. So I still need to remove about 30% and send that to our tax-seeking funds, but this is our gross amount. We had absolutely no luck with selling items last month, but I was able to make about $250 on surveys alone last month, which was overall amazing. In total, we made about $549.06, and that is what we plan to send a debt in April. Just as an FYI, YouTube pays you for the following month, so my earnings in April are paid out in May. So I'm really hoping to bring in more income this month to help with our May debt payments. On top of that, we finally did our taxes and it cost us $6,400 or just about $6,400. Now I knew we'd have a bill to pay this year, but I didn't plan for it to be this high. So our sinking funds took a major hit in April, which we are really working to rebuild. Because of our higher than normal income last year and not making adequate adjustments on our W-4, we ended up with this nasty bill. Now I know that the tax deadline has been extended to mid-May, but I wanted to get our taxes done so we can start rebuilding our cash reserves. Because we had to pay for our taxes, most of our additional disposable income this month went to this bill versus debt as planned. We have never owed the IRS and we don't plan to start now. So in April, we made three payments mostly from our side hustle income. We made our standard monthly payment of $675 with an additional $25 to make it even $700. That is what I always send month over month with most going to our principal because of our low interest rate. We then made a payment of about $250 on the 14th, which came from my survey income that I earned last month. Then our last payment was made on the 26th, which was sent in an additional $245. Most of this came from my U2 income. Ideally, we would find more side hustle income to help send to our debt and get rid of this a bit quicker. Because we don't want to shift any of our investment dollars right now, we really need to find other streams of income. In total, we sent $1,195 to debt, which is definitely less than last month and still below our targeted number. Not too happy about it overall, but progress is progress. 
But here is our 2021 debt-free tracker, which shows our progress from the start of our journey back in May of 2020. Can't believe it's been almost an entire year. We've been on this journey for 11 months and it feels like 11 years. Now I can't wait to be 100% consumer debt-free. But let me know in the comments if you're debt-free and how long it took you to become debt-free, or if you're currently on your journey, what month are you in? Curious to know. Since May of last year, we've paid off $35,488 and over 57.1% of our debt. We were extremely aggressive last year over the summer, basically when the whole entire world shut down and we had a lot more disposable income for the first time in almost forever. Since then, we have slowed down a bit, but our current remaining balance is just over $26,600 but we are getting closer towards our $25,000 mark, which is our next key target. I know once we hit this mark, it will start going faster mentally. My husband and I are really working on getting either a part-time job or other additional side hustles to keep throwing at our debt. And I'm really excited to see if we can get this wiped out before the end of 2021. That is our secret stretch goal. To be honest, we fumbled this month or missed our target overall on our debt-free journey because we had several unplanned expenses that were out of our control. I had an additional medical bill come through because of a coding change from my health provider to my insurance company. I did try to fight this charge by calling my provider with absolutely no luck. This cost us about $200. We don't use our HSA dollars for medical expenses, so this was taken out of our April budget. We then got charged an additional $200 from my trash company by mistake. But because my account is set on auto pay, it went through. It currently shows a credit on our account versus processing a refund, so I'm working with our trash provider to get this resolved. I don't see this being handled in April. And of course, our tax bill came in a few hundred dollars over than planned. These three expenses really took a hit in our April budget, impacting our overall debt-free journey. But May would be a better month for us overall. I'm claiming it. We should get our debt under $25,000 or close. Because we have had such great returns in the market, it's really hard for me to shift those dollars to debt, but I am really tempted. My husband has finally launched his website and apps, so I do expect his side hustle income to finally start trickling in, and I'm really excited about that. But if we hit our annual target of making over $15,000 in side hustle income, I know we'll be able to wipe this debt out. I don't get any other bonuses this year, but I do get profit sharing, but that is contingent on the company's overall performance, and our numbers are looking promises, so fingers crossed. Now, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Until next time.